Hi guys, Cameron here and welcome to another New Year New Army 2022 hobby vlog on my Dunland Raiding Force. This is a video series where I go through all the process that I'm doing to make my Dunland Raiding Force a thing for Armies on Parade 2022 and you can check out the previous six uh, or what will be six um, videos in a playlist uh, which this one will also be attached to. I am recording this on the 1st of June, I was going to know, 1st of July, um, and this is actually recorded before number six is released. Um, I was a little late um, in kind of releasing number six, I do apologise. Um, in that episode we finished off a bunch of uruk -hai scouts and in this episode, you will see my Gods of War, not Gods of War, what's this? Wizards and War Machines. Um, and that is going to be what we get going with. Um, so, uh, yeah, Wizards and War Machines. So good thing is, in my Dunland Raiding Force, I do actually have a wizard. So for once, the kind of lines, uh, well, the stars align and whatnot for Lord of the Rings, and I do have a wizard, and that is good old Sharky. Um, he, I'm not showing him off there. There we go. He is going to be um, done up and looking like a kind of Dunland wild man, um, purely because then it fits the aesthetics and whatnot, but it does mean he will be in the army and looking all lovely and beautiful. Uh, on top of that, um, when it comes to war machines, we have got the machines of Dunland, um, which I have got an uruk oh, the machine's Dunland Raiding Force, which is an uruk -hai Berserker with Torch, which does mean he can light my Rohan house on fire, or be one of the reasons that that Rohan house went up on fire. And then I also have three Herskals uh, that I need to build and paint, and they can go along with the War Machine stuff as well. But what we will do is we will kind of do a uh, watch along on the whole process um, of what I do do with this and you will see how it all goes. So let's uh, check back in hopefully a couple of days and we will see what I have managed to do for this Dunlin Rating Force. Well, we come back then uh, on the 6th of July to see what I have managed to do. Overall, um, I'd say I've done a little bit of work. Um, what we had was we had a Sharky sprayed black, um, three Herskals unbuilt um, and still in the box, and then a, a uruk -hai Berserker sprayed black as well. So what have I managed to do? Start off with, I Zenithal highlighted. Um, no, I didn't. I sprayed. I sprayed him white instead, uh, <laughs> with a little bit of black. Still, I I don't understand Zenithal and how they're useful and good and whatnot. I uh, and then I gave Sharky a shade of Wildwood um, contrast paint over the top. Now you're not going to particularly see this um, too well on camera, unfortunately. Uh, this is exactly how I did my Urukai scouts, and then I dry brushed them and whatnot. So. I, I do need to um, up my game on this guy. It's been six days and there are five days. And the reason that I haven't done anything more than that uh, is because I've been working on um, some unbelievable models that are absolutely wonderful. Um, and you'll be seeing showing up in a hobby vlog at the end of this month, I reckon, uh, along with maybe a couple other guys um, and girls, I should say, um, guys and girls. But I back onto this New Year New Army project. What else have I done? I have painted my Rukai, um Berserker with um, Doombull Brown. Um, makes it worse, maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe you can see that. I'm not too sure. I I need to swap cameras, turn it around. But um, Doombull Brown on him. And then what I have managed to do is I have built and sprayed black my three Herskals, or however you pronounce them, um, 
and they are now just sitting there. They are going to be the last thing that I do this month um, or next, depending on how it goes. Um, my, my main focus is this guy because this is Wizards and War Machines. So it's going to be him, then the, this guy, and then her scales. Um, that's the order that they are going to be done in. So I, we will come back after I've done a little bit more work to Sharky, hopefully. I will see you soon. So we are back and I have managed to get some paint down on these models. Uh, the dog is running around the flat, so I do apologize. I've managed to get my base coats um, down on a Saruman, Sharky, depending on what you want to call him. You can't really see him, but I've got all the base coats down on him. And then I have also done the same on the Berserker. That just makes him look like he's black and has no actual colour to him. I don't know if I do that. Ah, who knows? But they have now got their colour down on their um, on their minis. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to shade the whole thing with the trusted Agraxar shade. And then I will go in and I will highlight everything back after that. And kind of after the highlights, it'll then just be basing and they will be done. It is the 9th of July and they should be finished by either tonight or maybe at the very latest tomorrow, which will be the 10th. So it looks like we have a New Year New Army, um, which is on track. I am very surprised by that because I wasn't expecting it. As for the Herskals, Haskals, how you pronounce them, they have just been sprayed. They still haven't been touched and the plan is not to touch them for really anything. What has been taking up my time and the reason that those two models haven't been done real quick, uh, well, I have managed to finish off Grim Beorn um, and Beorn and six Beornings. I have another six Beornings that need painted up for, I think it's the 14th. Um, so yeah, uh, oh sorry, another six Beornings and Beorn that need painted up for the 16th, 14th, whatever day it is. Um, so yeah, um, seven models plus these two to get painted up in that time. I'll manage it, I swear, but check back soon. And as I said, it would be done. I have finished my wizard for Wizards and War Machines month. And to be fair, he didn't take me too long. It was probably only an hour of actual kind of brush to model painting um, with drying time, probably about three hours purely because of the texture paint and the shade over him. I It was Wildwood over a, a kind of half Xenophiled um, model and that's what the cloak was and then I was then dry brushed. We then put other browns on, as you can see, over the sleeves. And then we shaded it as well as the base with Agrax. And then we went in and highlighted and took the cape back up. A little bit of layering on the rest of the browns. And then did his beard and skin tones. I think he's going to fit in very well with my Dunlin to force. And I'm really happy with him. However... Not only did I paint Saruman, but I managed to paint my Berserker, yeah. So this guy I'm classing as one of the war machines for um, the Dunland raiding force. I suppose he could have been a god of war or whatever it was last month. Um, but uh, I'm kind of clutching at straws for these things. This was done with uh, Doombill Brown as skin, um, various browns, blacks, and I, then I just shaded it uh, all Agrax and then highlighted it back up with the base colours. Nothing particularly fancy, uh, a little bit of contrast on the flaming brand and then a dry brush over it and then kind of do the base as well. So this guy is sorted, done and dusted. Nice, easy, quick, and I, I painted this him up the same time I was painting up Sharky, or Saruman, whatever we want to call him. I was considering putting the white hand over him, uh, especially over his head, but I wasn't too sure, so I kind of left it as is, just to kind of make sure that I wasn't going to screw that up and then screw the rest of the paint job up, have to start again, and so on. But overall, really happy with how he's come out, and he will fit right in. Well, there we go then. Sharky and the Berserker 
which you won't be able to see there, but ah, maybe you can. Oh, is that what I need to do? I need to pop the light up to the roof and then you're gonna half see these guys. Um, but these guys are now painted up and I can put a New Year New Army video out on the correct time, um, which is kind of halfway through the month. That's when it should be um, getting released. So what am I going to do for the next month? Because if I've managed to paint my wizard and war machine within the first month of this, or the first two weeks of this month, what am I going to do for the rest of this month and a half um, to kind of keep this project going? To start off with, I am going to paint up some Herskals. Um, I was saying that I had these sorted. Uh, this is going to be what they turned out like. You can't see that. Um, I painted these up during uh, the first lockdown actually back in 2020 and I have got another three of them um, with their silvers already done and we are currently, let me just check the date, we are on the 12th of July so I am a month and a half um, ahead of myself and this will be getting released on the 15th so it's all good. Um, so three are getting painted up um they shouldn't take me too long probably a day day and a half um so probably finished by the 15th but i won't add them into this video just in case um and then after that what am i going to be doing well this is the dunland raiding force and they also have Crabane in the dunland uh, army list i already have two of them completely painted up and they were painted up uh, when they were released again back during the first lockdown um all the Dunland stuff was getting released and that is my wash machine that just finished so I do apologize if you can hear the beeping going off so these and the Crabane were painted up at the same time I uh, so I thought I might as well paint up another three of these and another two Crabane at the same time we'll say the Crabane are an add-on if we manage to um, paint up the three Herskals, um, but they are currently all clipped, uh, all scraped and everything, and they are being washed, so they are sitting on my drying board just now, um, drying off. And then I will glue them all together and then it will be sorted. So yeah, um, I think I have got this month, this two months, kind of on track. After that, if I manage to paint up the Crabane and the um, two Huskal, or three Huskal, sorry, I might actually try and paint up some Rohan. You might see 12, maybe-ish Rohan warriors and maybe even six Rohan riders. Um, we'll, we'll keep that at bay um, for just now and we'll figure that out, but you may well see them at some point. Um, well, I'm gonna need them for the board. So fingers crossed, I am off from work, we will see. But anyway, we will call it quits at that. Um, it is uh, one o'clock uh, in the morning on Tuesday the 12th of July and I should really go to bed. I, I'm probably gonna stay up and edit this video, so who knows. But anyway, you guys can check off now. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for be he being here. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate every time someone does it. And please also don't forget to use my affiliate links in the description below. Any money from that does help me improve upon everything that I do and allow me to pick up models such as these that I can then use for this channel. So I genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. But thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye bye. Thanks very much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and use my affiliate links in the description below. Take care and bye bye.